Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I will walk you through InnoReader, which is a RSS reader that claims to help you organize, follow and stay updated with the content from across the web. So make sure that you watch this video till the very end so that you don't miss any of the important steps. If you don't have an InnoReader account yet, you can just use my affiliate link in the description. I will get a small commission at no extra cost to you and you might also get some rewards or discounts depending on the latest offer. So is this actually the best content reader in 2025 or there are better tools out there? Let's just try to find that out in today's video. So first of all, you can just click on the link that is given in the description or you can also open your web browser and search for inoreader.com. Now, over here, you can either click on the sign up option in order to sign up and you will come here on the dashboard or you can just simply go on the home page itself and learn more about it. So first of all, we need to understand what is InnoReader exactly. So as I said earlier, InnoReader is an advanced RSS feed reader that allows you to follow the updates from the blogs, newsletters, YouTube channels, Reddit threads, Google news alerts twitter or x accounts and more all in one place unlike any other social media where algorithms decide what you see rss puts you back in control InnoReader gives you a focused environment to track the sources that matters to you without any noise or any ads in your feed you can also access it on desktop android or ios and it also has the browser extensions to make the subscribing even easier. For anyone who needs a reliable way to manage a high volume of the content, whether you are a researcher, a content creator, a developer, or any casual reader, InnoReader is designed for efficiency here. Now let's talk about the core features that InnoReader provides you. So once you come in your dashboard, you will just take a look at this. InnoReader's layout is quite clean, customizable and great for power users. You can group your feeds into the folders over here, assign tags, you can add stars or bookmark the articles and you can even switch between the reading modes. There is a magazine view for skimming the headlines and a full view for reading everything in line. You can even hide the read items automatically for a distraction free, free experience. Over here in the right hand section, you will see the hot, the top today and this weekend's article. So here you will be able to see the option of rules and automations. So one of the InnoReader's biggest strengths is automation using the rules you can create triggers for almost anything like tagging the article containing the certain keywords moving the items to the folders or automatically saving the content to evernote pocket or even sending them to your email address this particular option is powerful for the researchers or professionals who don't want to manually organize the content every single day Unlike the free readers that just show you the new posts, InnoReaders keep an archive of everything that you have read and allows the full text search. So if you remember a post from three months ago with a specific quote, you can find it instantly over here. It's like Google for your personal content library. You can also turn your newsletters into RSS feeds even if the sender doesn't offer RSS. This means your inbox stays cleaner and you can also read the newsletters alongside your other content. You can also subscribe to YouTube channels and get notified about the new videos through RSS. You can also follow Twitter user or Reddit threads using the feeds link, which is great for keeping up without logging into those platforms. Now, InnoReader also has a discover section, which is uh, curated with feeds and categories. So if you are building a new reading habit, this is going to basically help you explore the trending or the high quality blogs in tech, finance, education and more. 
you will also see their chrome extension that lets you subscribe to the feed from any web page and there is also a bookmark it or for saving the articles to the library in one click now let's talk about the cost so inorido has a free plan uh, that includes the basic rss features like following up to 150 feeds and creating one rule but if you want full access to the archives the unlimited rules offline reading and integrations with the apps like zapier you will need to purchase their pro plan which is going to cost you only five dollars per month if you build it annually if you build it monthly so you will have to pay around ten dollars every single month they also going to provide you the custom plan that is priced in between offering a middle ground some automations search and faster updates so what's nice is that you know readers doesn't push you to upgrade aggressively you can explore a lot of for free and you can upgrade only if you need the advanced automation and archiving features now let's summarize the real world pros and cons after testing it extensively so here if i talk about the pros uh, you will be able to get the extremely fast and responsive web application it is best in class automation and filtering you will get full article search with the unlimited archives and the pro option built-in integration with pocket evernote and zapier it is reliable uh, for the support team and regular updates the clean ui with no advertisement is also a plus point to it now if i talk about the cons there is a learning curve for beginners due to the advanced features available here you will get limited features on the mobile as compared to desktop there are some of the features like rules and full archive that are logged for the paid plans and you will also be able to see the discovery section that could be improved further so the question here is who should actually use ino reader so all the researchers and journalists use the filters and the rules to track their stories and topics across dozens of resources if you are a marketer you can use this particular tool to monitor your blogs industry news and social content without wasting any time if you are a developer you can follow the release notes documentation feeds and github updates if you are a blog reader or a learner you can also follow your favorite writers youtubers and experts all in one quiet dashboard in short if you are tired of distractions and now you want a powerful information and dashboard inorido is one of the best tools out there so is inorido worth it in 2025 yes especially if you are someone who loves staying informed but wants to stay focused it is quite clean fast flexible and it is built for the users who take content seriously so if you have found this review helpful make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit the bell icon as well so that you don't miss any of our future tutorial tutorials and honest reviews thanks for watching